teaching overhead press. So, we talked about the military press. You may or may, may not have watched that video yet. We're going to go over regular overhead, standing overhead barbell press. So, just like always, we'll start with stance first. Stance, I generally like to have no less than hip width, no, no more narrow than hip width. So, right around here, maybe shoulder width at the widest. Okay? And again, as with everything else, make sure you've got proper posture. So, we want to stand tall, shoulders back, right? External rotation. Squeeze the butt, smooth feet to the ground, right? Build tension into the system. Okay? So, generally with the overhead press, you'll actually start with the barbell rack, probably in a squat rack. Um, but we don't have a squat rack in here, so I'm going to start from the ground. But where you want to do is if you've got it in a, if you've got it in a rack, what you want to do is address the bar first, okay? And you want to come underneath the barbell and get your elbows set actually directly underneath the barbell here, okay? Notice we don't want to grab the barbell and have our elbows behind the weight because then we're wasting a lot of energy just to hold this bar and keep gravity from pulling it down and away from us, okay? But if, we're, if our elbows are actually underneath the bar, you can see that I don't even have to have a full grip on it. The barbell is just hanging out, okay? This is called the front rack position, all right? So front rack position is gonna be your start position. The barbell will pretty much be on the collarbone at this position, okay? So elbows underneath or slightly in front of the bar. Bar is at the collarbone and almost resting on this shelf that we've created with our shoulders here, okay? From this position, you can see the barbell is underneath my chin here, okay? What we've got to do is we've got to take the barbell from point A to point B. Everybody knows straight line is the quickest way to get there, right? Well, if my chin's in the way, what are we going to do? We've got to come out and around. No, it doesn't count, right? We're just wasting space. We're wasting time. We're giving more effort and we're going to be less efficient. So we have to retract our chin out of the way. Okay, so we're, we're making that kind of double chin face that nobody wants. Okay, so we retract the chin, we make the double chin face, and that clears a path for this barbell to travel. What you don't want to do is crank your neck back and lift your chin up, and then press. Okay, that's going to leave you very, very vulnerable for hyperextension of the lower back. And again, Tia makes a point too. It's, it's, we want a neutral spine. Your spine is, starts here, goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay, your spine just doesn't start at the upper back. The spine is all the way up in the neck too. So keep a neutral spine. Don't try to crank the neck. Okay? That Tia girl really knows her stuff. She knows a thing or two. <laughs> so, front rack position, elbows underneath the bar. From here, we retract the chin, make the double face. Okay, this clears us a path to move. We press the bar directly in front of our face, straight up, and we want to think about touching the shoulders to the ear and bring, come to full lockout up top, okay? So at this top position, it's almost like I'm just pressing the weight through the ceiling, okay? And here, what we want to do is we want to end right around our midline, okay? So again, the midline is that line that intersects me right down the middle into a front and a back half, all right? If we're out in front of the midline, we got to we take a lot of energy in order to hold that bar in front of us and not let it drop forward. Same thing with being back here. If we're back behind us, it's going to us off and throw us backwards. So we want to end right in that midline at the top. So we want to be here, okay? And what we're going to do is just kind of place the head back through. We've actually, after we've retracted the neck, we don't leave it back, okay? We're going to just poke it back through, bring it back to that normal neutral position. And again, shoulders at the ears, lock out the elbows. Don't want to be out here, right? Nor do we want to be back here, okay? It's going to pull us off. So grip on the barbell. Generally, if you're, say, picking the barbell up from the ground, you want grip to be right outside the hip, which is going to leave you right outside the shoulder. If you've got the bar in a, in a uh, squat rack, in a rack position, grab it right outside the shoulder, okay? So, you don't want to be, you don't want your hands so close that when you come to the front rack position, your hands are actually resting on your shoulder here. Yeah. Okay, that's way too close. We need to be just outside of that. So, generally, it's right about just outside of hips width, just outside of the hip maybe a thumb's width away, and then wrap the thumbs around. Okay, we don't want a suicide grip. You gotta have thumbs around the bar, okay? But when we get to the front rack position, that should leave us, as you can see, just outside the shoulder. Okay, so thumbs wrap around, just outside the shoulder, elbows underneath the bar. Those look so good. Wow. Shoulders are tired already. All 
All right, time for some coffee.